One of the oldest ways of conducting diagnostics is with the use of sound. Now this here is a standard stethoscope which directs sound from its membrane to my ears. And what we have done here is that we have attached a microphone so that we can all listen to it. I'll just demonstrate this for a bit. Now, any mechanical action which generates sound can be used for diagnosis. And here we will focus once again on the heart, which is essentially a pump with valves and which rhythmically contracts its muscles. And with the help of the stethoscope, we can hear it beating. What we hear are two sounds in particular, S1 and S2. Now S1 marks a transition from diastolic to systolic blood pressure and S2 marks a transition from systolic to diastolic. The upper trace is my ECG where we know that the R peak marks roughly the beginning of the systole and corresponds to the heart sound S1, whereas the end of the T wave marks roughly the beginning of the diastole and corresponds to the hard sound S2. So let us listen to the sounds for a moment. So another use for the stethoscope is to listen to our blood flowing very much like when measuring blood pressure in the traditional way. So the way to do this is to place the stethoscope over the brachial artery and then increase the pressure to a high value in order to stop the blood flowing. Now we'll start releasing the pressure very slowly and as soon as we hear sound then we know that that marks the beginning of the systolic blood pressure and its value can be read from the manometer. And the reason we hear the sound is due to the turbulence of the blood passing through the artery. Now, as soon as the sound stops, then we know that we have reached the diastolic point of our blood pressure and a value can once again be read. So these sounds are called Korotkov sounds and they can be heard using this cuff. Without the cuff we wouldn't be able to hear the blood flowing. However, there is also a different way of listening to the blood flow through our artery and that is by using Doppler ultrasound, which is this equipment here. And the way this works is by transmitting sound waves into the bloodstream and picking up the reflected sound. Now, when the blood flows towards the probe, then the sound frequency is quite high, but when it flows away from the probe, then it's quite low. So let me just demonstrate how this is done. So we'll turn this on and then place the probe at an angle over the artery. So there we go. We notice that sound is a very versatile modality but also a highly complex one. And although in ECG we have automated analysis, when it comes to sound, the best way of interpreting it is by simply listening to it.